by the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing uh, Podcast. Uh, another edition of Quick Hits. Again, we're doing these twice a day, every day, uh, Monday through Saturday. And I'll try to give you one on Sunday. Um, I'm glad that uh, I didn't tie myself down to a, a topic after my first show, after the morning show, because we have uh, <laughs> big news, funny news that came out today. Uh, Mark Breland, the former co-trainer of heavy, former heavyweight champ Deontay Wilder, absolutely unloads on the former champ. Um, it was well documented, the ridiculous clown claims that Wilder made. Um, there were smoke signals that were given to Fury, uh, loaded gloves, you know, with the egg weights um, that Breland spiked. <laughs> Spiked his water bottle. Um, spiked his water bottle with a muscle relaxant. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, um, Breland has since been removed from Wilder's camp for doing the right thing. Obviously, um, the Fury fight should have been stopped. Um, Wilder was taking a terrible beating. Um, he was out on his feet. Um, it was the fight had become non-competitive. It become one-way traffic. I know Wilder wants to go out on the shield, and Wilder believes he could come back and, and win by knockout. Uh, that wasn't going to happen. It was a it was one way traffic. Wilder was in a world of trouble. I mean, it, there was no decision to be made at that time. Breland had to do what he had to do, and he had to stop that fight. It's just it is what it is. I mean, he. Uh, but whatever, Breland's out. Um, <laughs> and Breland said his career is done now, so I'm done, and he's done, so I'm done with him. Um, I wish him well, and that's it. Only got his power, and we'll see how far that takes him. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Billy Lane decided <laughs> he could also beat the guys that Wilder has fought. All right? Uh, he went on to attack JD, saying uh, about the claims of the loaded gloves, that JD's was right there watching the hand wraps, but I don't know. JD doesn't really know anything about boxing. He could have put a cast in there for all he knows. That's how little JD's knows about boxing. Breland is the brains of that camp, and now he's gone, and now it's the blind leading the blind. Uh, Breland went on <laughs> to say that he that Wilder doesn't really train. He doesn't jump rope. He doesn't hit the heavy bag. <laughs> He doesn't hit the speed bag. He doesn't really train. I, I don't know how that's possible. Wallace is in incredible shape. He carries his power late. I mean, he's obviously well conditioned. I don't know how much training he does. I'm not in camp with him um, day in, day out. I don't know. I'm going to try to hope to get some more clarity on this. I'm going to try to speak to people how much truth there is to this statement. Uh, but Breland's had it. I, I don't blame Mark Breland. He did the only thing he could do in that fight. And whether you like Wilder or hate Wilder, and I know there's very – very little in between. I, I'm the in between. Like I'm, I think I'm pretty fair, pretty honest on uh, Wilder. Um, I, I think he was a good heavyweight. He had a good run. He's obviously one dimensional, um, and he's going to have success with that one dimension. But he's also beatable, um, and we've seen that. Uh, <laughs> that Breland also went on to talk about the level of competition he's faced, and he said, you know, he was asked about the good wins he's had, like Luis Ortiz, to which Breland, <laughs> Breland said, the good wins? You mean the good win, one good win against Luis Ortiz. Um, and then Breland said he could beat AJ, he could beat Br Bermain Severn. He said AJ doesn't jab, he doesn't move, he's stationary. Um, Breland didn't specify whether he was talking about if he could beat him now or when he was in his prime 30 years ago. Uh, Breland is a two-time uh, world champion. He's got wins over Lloyd Honeygan, Rafael Pineda. He's got wins. He was good in the day. Olympic gold medalist, world champion. He was really, really good. Um, 
you know, he's outweighed by Joshua by almost 100 pounds. So I, I don't know that he could beat uh, Joshua or, or Stavern, Uh But that's what Breland says. I mean, this is great stuff. I, I think Breland has a career in training. I, I think he can work with other fighters. I think he can work in other camps. I think he has a good mind for the sport. Um, but Wilder needed someone to blame. Um, so he blames his trainer. And that's not new. I mean, that's been happening. J-Rock just did it with uh, Breadman, right? People, they lose, they take an L, and they're looking for someone to blame. You know, so the easiest guy to blame is the trainer, the co-trainer. JD's is his yes man. And I'm not insulting JD's, but um, JD's is the yes man. That's all there is to it. You know, so he kept him. Uh, Wilder wants someone who will say nice things to him and not hit him with truth bombs, which was the role Breland took. Um, but this is comical. And it's saying Wilder's Chris, oh, I don't know that it's over. I, I still think Wilder beats Joshua. I think Wilder beats everyone in the heavyweight division with the exception of a couple of guys. I don't think he beats Fury, obviously. I don't think he beats Usyk. And Ruiz, I, he may not beat Ruiz. But the stationary kind of slow targets, he beats those guys because of his power. He beats AJ. And I think he beats everyone else besides that. Every other stationary guy, I think he beats. I think he beats Dubois. I think he beats Joyce. Like, if, if you can't move, you can't beat this guy. Um, So I, I don't know if his career is over. Although, you know, it's not going to be his run as a great heavyweight is over. Right? He's never going to be a great heavyweight. Um. But the, these comments are comical. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you agree with Breland here that the, that that, that Wilder's career is done? Uh, what do they make of the comments that Breland doesn't train, doesn't hit the heavy bag, he doesn't jump rope, he doesn't hit the speed bag, he doesn't really train? Um, and that Breland could beat the guy <laughs> that Wilder have beat, including Stravain, and he could beat Anthony Joshua. Um, th this is great. I want to see how Wilder reacts and retaliates because you know he's going to. Wilder's not going to say nothing. Wilder's going to say something. And I'm looking forward to what that is. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with at least one more show, possibly do. But, um, you know, each day, Monday through Saturday, we're going to do two shows. Uh, Sunday's the Super Bowl, so I don't know when we're going to do the show. But we will do a show tomorrow. Um, it is February 7th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get Cal. Let's get Iron Boy into the Hall of Fame class 2021. Follow me on all forms of social media: 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.